hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so for this tutorial i'm going to use a pair of scissors i have stitch markers here i'm actually going to need four that's why i have this hairpin that will act as a stitch marker and then a five millimeter hook i would suggest you can use if you have a four millimeter hook um use that four millimeter hook not focusing five millimeter hook so if you have a four millimeter hook 4.5 5 5.5 you can use within those ranges so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a chain that will run <clears throat> sorry um it will you you get the lowest let's say around five inches below your umbilical cord area that hip measurement is what you're going to take so you're going to make a chain that will run from one side of your hip area to the other side five inches from your umbilical cord and what you're going to do is you're going to make a chain and that is you can start by making a slip knot and this is how we do it so what you're going to do is you're going to chain and make sure the chain that you're going to make is going to be a multiple of four right so my chain i am a size medium and i made a chain of 132 for a size medium for a size small i would suggest 120 i'm like medium towards small i'm not like very very I'm not like medium medium i'm just in between small and medium so that's why i did 132 but i would suggest if your size small you could do between that 20 120 and 132 and then if you a size and if you let's say around a size medium medium you can do a range between 100 and like 44 or even 150 around there depending so i'm doing um 150 sorry 132 i'm making a chain of 132 and then when you're done with your chain i'm going to show you what to do next So I'm done with my chain of 132 and like I said if you're making a chain please make sure it is <clears throat> a multiple of 4 and here is why. So here I have in total 132 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my calculator because we're going to start attaching these stitch markers and the reason being we are going to make um the sides those chains on the sides for the skirt so what you're going to do is you're going to get your 132 right and my chain like i want it to be 18 like 18 stitches i think that's how they're called like if i'm to count from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i want them to be 18 so i'm going to get 18 and because they're, they're going to be on two sides, one side is going to have like from here to here is going to be 18. And then the side also from here to here. As you can see from the pattern of the skirt. So because I want 18, I'm going to start from 18. So what I'm going to grab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 18 plus 18. If I want it, let's say, um, shorter, maybe let's say if I want it like 16. So I'll get 16 plus 16, that's 32 right or if i wanted 12 you just add them like so we'll, mine is going to be 18 so i'm going to get 18 plus 18 that is 36 so i'm going to get my 132 chains that i made here 132 and i'm going to subtract 36 right and that will give me 96 and that 96 I'm going to divide it by 4 and that's going to give me 24 so whatever you get let's say if you made if you want like these chain spaces to be 
super if you want this chain spaces to be 12 so you're going to get 132 you're going to subtract 12 plus 12 that's 24 you're going to get subtract 24 and that will give you 108 and then you're going to divide this by 4 that's how it's all going to be if you want it like 16 you just get your 132 subtract um 32 and then divide it by 4 so whatever you get out of subtracting or if you did a chain of like 150 and then you're doing 18 sorry 150 you're just going to subtract 36 and that's going to give you 114 and then you're going to divide it by 4 and this you just round it off because it really even if it's um it gives you this point you just round it off or you ignore it because it it really doesn't change much on your skirt so minus 132 i'm going to subtract 36 that's going to give me 96 divided by 4 that is 24 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count 24 starting from here right one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, which is this. This is our 24. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also going to count my 18. So I'm going to count 18 starting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm going to attach my stitch marker here. Right, so that is one. So you're going to come back at the end of this side right here. And what you did here is what you're going to do here. So I'm going to count 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this is 24. I'm going to attach my stitch marker right here. Then I'm going to count 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 14 15 16 17 18 so i'm going to attach my other stitch marker right here so as you can see we have this side and this side and here's the thing the reason why we um, divide it by four and we ignore this and we focus what we have like from here to here is what is going to be from here to here like this this part is really not really important this is our front part but this is where we will be counting like because here to here is the same as here to here and then this and this is all the same so what we're going to do next is I really hope I've explained that well because that's the most important part because the rest what we're going to do next is also important but it's very easy compared to this part so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to attach my chains together and this is how I do it I'm just going to go into that pull through and then pull through right and then you're going to chain one two and we're going to go into this very same stitch this one because we counted it also so you're going to go into that with a half double crochet and you're going to chain one and this looks like a puff stitch so you're going to skip this and then you're going to go into the next skip one go into the next with a puff stitch and this is how you do it you're just going to yarn over let me do that again just yarn over like this skip one go into the next pull through you'll have one two three left on the hook yarn over again you have four 
go into that very same stitch and then you're going to pull through so you have one two three four five and then you're going to pull through all the five right and then you're going to chain one again yarn over skip one go into the next yarn over again go into the same pull through all chain one again and this is a pattern that we will use throughout this tutorial for this skirt so you're just going to skip one going to the next with a puff stitch So here we are at the very end and what we are going to do is we are going to remove this and you are going to chain 18 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and here what we are trying to do is basically we are i'm trying to get the image from my phone of this particular skirt so what we're trying to do next is we're just trying to make these chains here on the side and that's why we are making 18 that is what we are trying to do so you're going to chain 18 and this is 18 and i'm going to go into I'm going to go into this where we have our stitch marker I'm just going to remove that stitch marker and hold that part and I'm going to go into that with a puff stitch so yarn over go into that pull through I'll have three yarn over again and then complete this with a puff stitch right so this is our first chain thing i don't know how to call this to be honest i really don't know how to call this so i'm going to just call it the chains or something like that so that is one so chain one skip that go into the next and this is a very repetitive like it's just the same a repetitive pattern it's like one pattern so what we do here is always the exact same thing that we that we do this side so I'm going to do the puff stitch and then I'm going to meet you when you here right here at the end so I'm going to meet you when you're there and then I'm going to show you what to do next So I'm here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip one, go into the next, I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to chain, this chain one by the way doesn't count as what, it doesn't count our, as our, like the first chain of the 18, no it's just on its own, so you're going to chain 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twen
18. I'm going to go here and show not this. And I'm just going to continue with my stitch. So I'm almost at the end. As you can see, I think I have this and this, but it's really not important. It, as long as if you have like one, two, three left, make sure you go into that very next one. May I have two, right? So I'm not going to go here, but I'm trying to avoid having a seam line. I don't want, I just want it to be a smooth, plain thing. So. This is going to be my back, but I don't want it to have a seam line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over, go into this space. I'm sure if you've watched my other tutorial for the dress, um, for the other dress, you've noticed that I actually don't add the seam line for this particular pattern because it doesn't really look super like so clean so i tend to use i just tend to like cover it up by not adding it and this part might look a little bit messy but it really won't show when you're done with it I'm trying to get the dress photo but i can't find it but yeah this dress sorry this dress i have a tutorial for it so the back the back part um, doesn't have a seam line and so what we do is just going to go into this pull through and I'm just going to go into the space with a what chain one skip going to the next So basically why we this is going to determine how we are going to end our what how we are going to end our this right here so I know it doesn't look the best but trust me it really won't show when you dress up or when you put it on So we are at the end of this part right here. So what we are going to do is this stitch right here, this part is like our chain one. Is like we're not going to go into anything, like we're not going to go into this space, but we're going to go into this space right here. This one here. This is chain one and then this is where we started counting our 18 stitches. So you're going to skip this and you're going to go into this 
chain number one with a puff stitch right and then this doesn't count as a chain one but what you're going to do is and here is the other tricky part so we are reducing this side we are trying to reduce it so what we're going to do is basically So as I was saying, uh, <clears throat> we are trying to reduce these chains because we're trying to, we want it to be, we, 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 okay, we're just reducing it. That's the only way I can explain it. So we're trying to reduce it and what you're going to do is you're going to, sorry, since this is one, you're going to count 16 because we are trying to do so when you reduce here and you choose here what you'll be left in the middle is 16 so you're going to count 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and this is 16 so we're going to chain 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry 7 8 9 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 16 and we are not going to go into where our stitch marker is so you're going to go into the next stitch which is this next to the stitch marker with a puff stitch And then chain one. I'm just going to go into the next chain space. This space. I don't know why I keep calling it chain space. So you're just going to continue with your your um, puff stitch pattern until You get to this part so let me uh, let me just put a stitch marker here because it's going to be a little bit confusing since i'm not doing what since i don't know i think maybe here's the thing what we do here is sorry is the same thing we do right here so i was thinking maybe i just do this part of camera and since i've attached this right here so that when i get to where this stitch marker is i'll show you because it's just a repetitive and i really don't want this video to be very long because it will be very hard for me to upload it using my phone so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue because this is where we this was where we tried to remove the seam line thing so when you reach here it's just going to be automatic you're just going to go into this with a stitch above stitch next with a puff stitch next with a puff stitch next with a puff stitch puff stitch but when i get here where our stitch marker is right here i'm going to show you this part how it looked and then i'll just continue so i'll be doing only one part of the what of the chains because i really don't want it i don't want this video to be very long because i don't want to divide it into parts because my phone can't upload a very big video so when i get here sorry when i get here right here i'm going to show you what to do next so i'm going to do this part of camera until here where our stitch marker is so i'm here where my stitch marker was and this is where how this part looks like 
But as you keep going, it's just going to disappear. Trust me, it's really going to disappear. This is where you have to trust the process. But as you can see, this is row three. And I'm almost literally at the end where the word. So what I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to skip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would have died if it had focused. Anyways, so we're here. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to skip this. Go into this with my past stitch. Right? And because this was 16, this is going to be 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm going to also count 14 this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this was 16, sorry, this was 18, this is 16, this is 14. What I'm going to have next is 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and then 1. And this is basically our um, the chains on the side if you wanted it like let's say if you wanted it if you wanted a lot of chains maybe on the side you could start with 20 uh, or any that really works for you so i'm on 14 i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to skip this up, but i'm going to go into the next one that with a puff stitch chain one so you can remove this as you can see already it's really decreasing on the side so as you can see this what i'm going to put i've done here what you can do is you can just pause the video right here right and then you just continue with the puff stitch and then when you get here when you get here you can just go back and then play this part because what you did here is the same thing you're going to do here. So I'm going to meet you when I'm here. When I'm here. So, because I don't want this video to be long and it's very repetitive. I'm sure you just find yourself skipping this part. But if you would want me to see maybe in other tutorials you want me to see like a complete thing you can just comment below please please don't forget to subscribe because i'm almost that um i think i'm as i'm doing typing as i'm talking about this video i'm on um 670 subscribers and i'm really hoping to get to 1000 so please 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 don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and if there's any mistake or anything you want to correct or know, you can just let me know in the comment section. Section. So I'll meet you here. So I'm back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this first one. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So chain twelve. Um, since I already know where my next stitch is, uh, let me just count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the next is this one.
So what I'm what I did here is the same thing I'm going to do here. So I'll meet you just to touch my I'll meet you here and then I'll meet you here. So I am here, back here. I already did this other part of camera, so we are going to turn. So you're just going to go into this. Then chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And since I've been doing it, I just know that this is where my 10 is. But if you're not very sure, please count. And so I'm going to make this put it here and then I'm going to meet you when I'm here so I'm going to do the rest of camera and then I'll meet you when we're here so this is 1, 2, 3, this is 8 this is 18, 16, 14, 10, 12, 8 and the next is 6 and this is the last one that I'm going to make I will meet you as you can see my light is off but this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to go into here. So I'm going to do this is six, so I'm going to do four, and I'll meet you when I am done when I'm on two. So I'm here. And I just wanted to show you how I did this. So it's one, two, counting one, two, then this. So when I get here, I'm going to show you how I did this. So as you can see, I was done with my two, which is right here. So I'm just going to go into that space with a puff stitch and then next with a puff stitch. So from here, I'm really not going to show much as you saw earlier my camera light is actually not enough it's not strong enough but this is the chain so basically from here you're going to just go round and round and round the puff stitch until you get to the length that you want of the skirt so i wanted to show you from here on how to how we end our what how we end our row but you will make sure when you're done with your <coughs> when you're done with your the length that you want you come here remember this part you follow this line this one right here you just follow this line like this until you get to like let's say if it's here me i'm going to assume it's here so i'm going to add, i'll attach a stitch marker there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to i'm just going to go into that like this and then pull through so it will look like an end but it will be on the back this side so when you're done with that what you just do you'll chain one and then go into this with a single crochet go into that space with a sing sorry not the space go into that with a single crochet go into this with a single crochet single crochet and you're going to do this and then when you get here you will just end it like when you're here, 
when you get here like when you're done with the single crochets until you're here this is how you're going to end it you just go into this right and then you'll pull through and then chain one and you'll just cut off your yarn and you will how they call it uh I keep forgetting how they call it but just like how you end all your rows you just cut it and then you make sure that it's not shown it doesn't show like it's not seen find a way of hiding it within any stitch around here so that is it for the tutorial basically you're just going to continue until you get to the length of the skirt that you want and then if you also want what you can also do is you will make a long chain um, let me get the chain so i've not got the chain but you make a very long chain and then you will attach it here you just go into sorry but this is a bit tight you can use a smaller hook so you just pull through and then you will go into this also you just go into the next stitches you can use a smaller hook if you have one available and then you just go you make a very long chain like over 150 or even more and then it will it will just be that chain that runs through your waist like um, let me get that image so this chain right here that you can see so you will just that's the very last part so you will just add it here i really hope it makes so much sense so basically that will be that whole tutorial for this skirt so you can finish it and you can share it with me on my instagram and then yeah so basically that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions please leave it down below in the comment section and i will answer all those questions thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe